one proponent, one propo part of this, I should say, is uh, incentivizing states to implement red flag laws. Does Texas need red flag laws? I do not support red flag laws. You know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm against that. I'm against anything that infringes upon uh, anyone's rights, uh, rights to due process in particular. Uh, but you know what, if there's grants in there that, that offer that, well, well, guess what? My state doesn't have to take those grants and, and, and I'm okay with that, right? So uh, at, at the end of the day, what I don't wanna have happen is I don't want the federal government dictating to states what they will or will not do. Now you can offer them options all day long, but when you dictate something, I think that that gets a, that gets ahead of it. The other part I wanted that I wanted that I'm very excited about in this package is the 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 telemedicine piece, especially in rural America. You know that to me there is this divide that is growing in America, and it has nothing to do with the color of your skin, has nothing to do with your party, it has nothing to do with how much money you have in your bank account. This divide is between urban and rural America. I mean, we saw it in Uvalde. You know, one of the one of the the reasons why uh, everything you know uh, uh, happened as chaotic as it did was not all law enforcement, not all first responders were on the same radio network. Can you imagine that? Fire department are on one thing, police are on another, border patrol on another, sheriffs are on another, game warden on another. That's one of the things when I hosted the president, uh, I guess a little over a week ago, maybe two weeks ago now. Uh, when I hosted the president, I asked him, I was like, look, Mr. President, there are three things I'm asking your help on. One of them is $23 million for a mental health hospital. Uh, I've already gotten $2 million. The other is $13.5 million for uh, communications, a radio network where you can put all the first responders on the same aspect of it. And the, the last thing I asked them for was $1 million towards an emergency operations center. Right now, there's over there's hundreds of law enforcement officers from all over the state and even the country that have come and helped out, also first responders, and, and they're, they're, they're having to sleep in cots. They're having to, 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 uh, to work out of a old aviation museum uh, and, and it's unfortunate. So those are three of the things that I asked the president for. 